Hello, I'm Jeff Gold, and thank you so much for joining us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. Today we have an opportunity to chat with Dr. Phil Covington. Dr. Covington serves as the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Student Success at both UNO and UNMC. But today we're talking about the Med Center, right? Yes, sir. So recently we've been doing a lot of work looking at student financial services. Uh, everything from student accounting to financial aid to what's going on on the college level, accuracy of information that we're sharing. And as I understand that, that with a lot of feedback from our students, there are a lot of new programs and some changes that are going on. And I thought we'd take just a few minutes and uh, tell our students and tell me, of course, uh, what's going on and what our students can expect. Excellent. The, uh, yeah, we had some uh, survey work that we did in early spring, uh, reaching out to all of our students just to get some feedback on where we're at in terms of our performance and meeting their expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, they suggested a number of ways that we could continue to enhance what we're doing, especially as it related to clarity around the actual cost of our tuition and fees, how they most appropriately access that information, how well we communicate that information to mm -hmm. them, the, uh, and then just ongoing uh, opportunities for us to continue getting better knowing they're coming from environments that aren't nearly as complex typically uh, with tuition and fees uh, as what we are uh, here at the Med Center um, it's important to make sure that we make it simple as we can to help them and their families and their partners understand uh, so we can reduce that anxiety keep them focused on their academic engagement and so, as I recall, uh, when we looked at that survey uh, results and we had a conversation with a number of groups of our mm -hmm. students, our staff, our faculty, et cetera, you put together a plan. And the plan had a number of things that rolled out over the next several months, but most of them were in place and now are in place with the beginning of this fall semester. Is that correct? That is correct. You know, probably one of the most critical pieces is just having one website that's super clear in terms of what our tuition and fees as approved by the Board of Regents and the system president are. Uh, previously, there were times that we would try to, to be extra careful and, and provide that information in a number of different sites. Mm -hmm. And as you might expect, those don't always stay as up-to-date as they need to. Uh, we're trying to reduce the confusion for our students again, back to anything we can do to, to make sure we're providing them the first time the absolute right information so they can know it and move on to the other things they need to do. And there was also some work done on a hotline, on, a, on resources for students that had questions about some of their finances, uh, access to scholarship, uh, uh, school lending programs and things of that nature, and that's been beefed up as well, right? Absolutely. Our financial aid staff in particular has been working very hard to make sure they're as available as they possibly can be. Uh, we're doing a number of Zoom sessions with students who are at a distance uh, or on one of our other four campuses outside of Omaha. Uh, we're engaging them with video. Obviously, the staff continues to be available uh, directly one-to-one. -one. Uh, we're beginning to do more follow-up to make sure once they've come in. Sometimes students aren't uh, uh, willing to say, I didn't quite get all my questions answered before mm -hmm. they walk away. So we're following back up and making sure that uh, they've got an opportunity to say, yes, I, I got the information that I came for. That's what we're here for. Absolutely. I mean, we want to make their journey through our educational system as easy and as straightforward as possible. Right. And yep. of course, as least expensive as possible. Yes, absolutely. And, and they've come, as I said, it, when they were in primarily undergraduate environments before coming to us, frequently we know their parents were very involved sure. uh, in handling those things. And we try to work with them through that transition of the student being the person that's much more responsible in the long run of what needs to happen. The parents are still engaged in that process, but we do that along with the student uh, if that's what they're, they're wanting their parents still engaged. Well, we're looking for feedback from our students. Uh, are these sites as good or better than they were previously? What's the clarity? What's the uh, financial aid and financial services advising like? So let us know. Absolutely. But I do want to take a minute just to thank you and to thank your team for putting this all together. And I look forward to the results and the resurveying our students in Absolutely. several months to ask them this question again. We'll continue to work hard to make sure that we continue to perform at a level that uh, is worthy of their trust. Exceeds all expectations. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Phil. Thank really you. appreciate it. And thank you so much for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope.